Hello, dear friends. Now we are working on the same problem, but using a different, uh, uh, a different method, method to attack this math problem. I am uh, <clears throat> trying to explain math problem. If you are interested, I really, I want to hear your comments about these kind of videos, and uh, please give advice. No matter in the method how I talk, how I make this video, or in the way I talk, the tone, uh, the language part, or the sounding part, do you need it a softer voice or stronger voice, a more enthusiastic voice, whichever way, more soothing voice, uh, um, <clears throat> whichever way you, you would prefer, please let me know. And here I will do the, the, the video now. So <clears throat> the question is, the ratio of Bill's money to Henry's money was 5 to 6. After Bill spent 800 on a television set, the ratio became 1 to 2. How much money did Henry have at first? So we can use this uh, um, <clears throat> we can use bar method we can use a draw a picture draw a bar draw a pie anything and this time i will do purely does not have any of these uh, uh, pictures or anything i will use a calculative method just written down. So let's say Bill's money, we suppose it's B. Okay, then we have a piece of new paper. Yes. <clears throat> so Bill's money is B. Can you see it clearly? So Bill's money is B, and Henry's money is H. So Bill's money and Henry's money, the ratio, Bill's money to Henry's money equal to 5 to 6. This is the first formula. And now the second formula, there are two unknowns, 两个未知数. So you need two formulas to answer this question. And the second one is, Bill has spent eight hundred dollars and after spending eight hundred dollars this amount of money so bills remaining money to Henry's current money from beginning to the end he didn't change so this ratio has changed into one to two so with these two formulas we can settle this problem so h whichever way you can you can you can do it you can change b to five six cross or you can do this way. So this way we can see, we will do here, 2B minus 1006 equal to H, right? So now we have H, H change into here, B, and here is H, H we will substitute with this number, 2B minus 1006 equal 5, to six. So Shi <clears throat> Xiang you cross way six B equal this move to this part <clears throat> ten B minus <clears throat> five uh, to six sixteen hundred is eight thousand. So <clears throat> move this one here so 4B, this one here, we can write on the other side, equals 800. So, <clears throat> B, uh, 8,000. 4B equal 8,000. So, B equal 2, 
2000 right so b equal 2000 this way you can you you do not talk about uh, who is who and these are, are just the numbers so bu has 2000 and h equals bu has 2000 so we can go back to this formula h equals to here h equals to uh, uh, okay 5h equals to 6b h equals to 5 6b equals 5 6 turn it b is 2000 so 5 12000 2400 2400 so this way you can calculate henry's money is henry's money is 2000 400 so which is the same way this way you I am more comfortable with this calculated and uh, you can there are many ways to solve this problem this is one of it it looks big the number but uh, actually these number are all quite easy to to settle there's no good or bad right or wrong whichever way you are more comfortable there are people who is more comfortable with, with looking at numbers. There are people who is more comfortable with looking at space or looking at, uh, at uh, proportion and putting into a picture visually. It's uh, no right or wrong. Okay, we finally get the result. Henry gets two. Uh, Henry has the money of uh, two thousand four hundred. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye, friends.